In Gifu University, senior professor and Professor Nagaoka found the world's first cholesterol-lowering compounds continuously over 20 years. He found out effective compounds useful for human health from familiar foods. Senior Professor and Professor Nagaoka will explain to us. My major is food function, physiological function of food, especially food components used for human health and the physiological function of the body have continued over the years. According to the latest World Health Organization statistics, the number of deaths due to arteriosclerosis related to diseases such as ischemic heart disease and stroke is 26.5%, occupying the first place of the cause of this in the world. Hypercholesterolemia triggers arteriosclerosis and causes myocardial infection and cerebral infection. So we will prevent hypercholesterolemia. I have been studying about food components to reduce blood cholesterol from milk whey protein and soybean protein. As a result, we have identified for the first time a novel cholesterol lowering pentapeptide, lactostatin, IIAEK, from bovine milk whey protein, beta lactoglobulin. Molecular size of peptides are smaller than those of proteins. Peptides are consist of a maximum 50 amino acids with peptide bond. For example, soybean is considered good for health from long ago. However, soybean protein contains some peptide causing allergy. If the active peptides can be identified, it leads to improvement and prevention of diseases without ingesting the allergen. Also, it is possible to utilize only active peptides for human health. However, it takes a lot of time to do the screen work to find active peptides. Thus, using our laboratory's total power, we have been working on the selected research about only active peptides among various amino acid sequences. In 21, we discovered the world's first whey protein-derived cholesterol-lowering peptide, lactostatin IIAK. It took 12 years to reach this discovery. One of the reasons we could discover the lactostatin was the variation of peptides using KQ2 cells. KQ2 cell is a famous model for human intestine. We can evaluate in vitro using a very small amount of peptides in KQ2 cells. We add peptides and radioactive cholesterol and then can measure the, the absorption rate of radioactive cholesterol in KQ2 cells. As a result, we found three active peptides for candidates. Then, these peptides were administered to rats for in vivo evaluation. We have done about 30 kinds of experiments to find more efficient animal experimental model. In this way, we tried and devised the evaluation method with try and error. Finally, we have discovered Raxtostatin. After that, using the same evaluation method, we have found various active compounds such as soybean derived cholesterol lowering peptide, soy statin. This is our recent review of laxostatin and soy statin. According to the discovery of laxostatin that enabled the development of the cholesterol lowering peptide study, 
based on a substantial amino acid sequence, a new discipline on cholesterol metabolism regulation of exogenous peptides, such as food protein-derived peptide, has been created. CYP7A1 is a light limiting enzyme of cholesterol degradation. This shows our result and hypothesis in relation to a membrane lactostatin receptor mediated CYP7A1 gene expression and a non membrane receptor PEPT1 mediated CYP7A1 gene expression in HEP G2 cells. Currently, we are expanding our research subject to various food. The function of some compounds we discovered is inferior to pharmaceuticals. In the future, we will further develop the evaluation method. We will clarify the relationship between structure and function of peptides. Also, we would like to clarify the target gene related to peptide function. And from familiar foods that we usually eat, I extremely would like to contribute to discover more active compounds and improve human health.